Luke, uh, why is recovery for endurance athletes uh, so important? Uh, recovery is, is important for any athlete because an athlete wants to recover from his exercise and adapt to the exercise to allow him to actually perform better in the future. So the same goes for an endurance athlete. So an endurance athlete has to restore his energy stores after exercise, but also recondition his muscle. So adapt his muscle to the endurance training. And as an endurance athlete, I'm not interested in gaining body mass or gaining weight. So is, it still, uh, is protein still required to allow a proper recovery? Our muscle turns over at about 1-2% to per day. And then it adapts to a certain type of exercise, whether it's resistance or endurance type exercise. For that, it needs building blocks to make those new proteins. So you need protein, whether you're an endurance athlete or a resistance athlete. And how much and what kind of protein source uh, would you recommend? So protein is, is, most endurance athletes ingest plenty of protein in the normal diet. If you look at proteins in the diet, then it seems that milk proteins are particularly strong, especially the whey fraction of milk protein is a very anabolic protein. It's fast digestible, has a high leucine content, and in research, in, in more laboratory conditions, we see that whey ingestion after exercise gives the highest protein synthetic response in the muscle. And what would be the right amount? The right amount. There's, there's not a lot of uh, dose effect studies, but there's one dose effect study after resistance type exercise, and that shows that about 20, 25 grams of protein is sufficient to maximize the post-exercise muscle protein synthetic response in young athletes. So do I need the same amount of like 20 grams of protein like you? I mean, we don't have the same body weight. I don't think we have the same body weight. <laughs> now, basically, what you, you would like to give as much protein based on the amount of muscle tissue that you recruited in the exercise test or the training before. So when you are a very huge guy using a lot of protein, you might actually want to use a little bit more uh, dietary protein. But everything in a range between uh, 15 to 25, maybe 30 grams of protein is more than sufficient. And as an endurance athlete, um, I need also to replenish my glycogen stores or my energy stores in liver and muscles directly after exercise. So therefore I need carbohydrates. So would it be best to have a combination of carbohydrates and protein for recovery? And that's the nice thing, every meal has both. So of course, if, you, if you're actually in a period in which you do a lot of exercise sessions, you want to perform as much as possible. Uh, work during, during an exercise session, you need to replete your, your glycogen stores. So ingesting uh, uh, some uh, carbohydrates after each training session would be smart. If you're in competition and you have to perform maximally on a daily basis for several days or twice a day, then of course it's, it's important to try to optimize your glycogen mm -hmm. stores. And for that you need to ingest quite a lot of uh, carbohydrates. And then mixing that with protein might be a good suggestion. And the best will be whey protein, therefore. That might be one of the better proteins, yes. And what's different if I drink like half a liter of, uh, of low-fat or whole-fat uh, milk instead to, to use a whey protein supplement? The milk proteins, our milk contains both casein and whey, and about 80% is casein and 20% is whey. So milk is a very good nutritional uh, uh, product that can be used to provide you with, with uh, quali quality, high quali quality proteins. But you can also use uh, protein supplements and that make it, sometimes it makes it more practical to ingest that amount of, uh, of protein. Is there a difference to take a, a fluid supplement or, or a solid food? There's not a lot of studies that have looked at the real digestion and absorption uh, of protein uh, when it's provided in, in a fluid or in a solid phase. They're not huge differences.